We hope that everyone has had the chance to play version 1.6 and try out Flora Menace. Has anyone been victorious on the Cell Matrix or managed to get any chicken dinners in this new battleground? In Flora Menace, there is an important enemy known as the Cell Matrix Robot. There are several different models of Cell Matrix Robot and, depending on the model, will have different amounts of health, as well as employ different tactics and methods of attack. So today, we'd like to go over Cell Matrix Robots in more detail as well as reveal some tips and tricks on how to beat them. All Cell Matrix robots can shoot balls of electricity, which travel rather slowly, and can be simply avoided by dodging to the left or right. After taking damage, Cell Matrix robots will self-destruct. Be careful. Cell Matrix robots that self-destruct will damage their surroundings indiscriminately, so make sure to maintain a safe distance, or else risk getting caught in the explosion. But you can also try grouping the robots together, and take advantage of a self-destructing robot to wipe out all surrounding robots. When a Cell Matrix robot is destroyed, it will drop an item, as well as a chance of dropping a Riot Shield. Riot Shields can provide excellent cover, protecting you from robots and real players alike, and improve your chances of winning. Besides this basic information, Cell Matrix robots come in two types, Model A and Model C. We will now go into more detail about how each model attacks. Cell Matrix Robot Model A When Model A is attacked, there's a chance that it will begin dodging to the left or right, so you must adjust your aim to hit it. Model A attacks at close range, so hit and run tactics are effective against it. Another way would be to position near the edge of the map and strike from a distance. Cell Matrix Robot Model C Model C is more mobile compared to Model A. It can jump and attack players in high places. In addition, it can fire missiles and there will be a red circle indicating the blast radius before impact. Leave the circle to avoid taking damage. If the missile launcher on Model C's right shoulder is destroyed, it will be unable to fire missiles. Besides Model C, there are two types of boss models. Be extra careful when encountering robots with a red outline, as you are facing a boss. They will have a lot of health and have stronger, more varied attacks, so it's recommended to bring a few riot shields. Bosses come in two forms. Boss number one and boss number two. Boss number one has all the capabilities of Model A and Model C, and can also deploy drones. Drones have low health, so it's recommended to destroy them first. Otherwise, they may get in the way of fighting boss number one. Boss number two has a flamethrower attack that hits a wide range. It's recommended to find a high place to avoid the flames. Once a boss has appeared, prioritize destroying its missile launcher. And once it's inactive, use riot shields and other cover to maneuver around the boss to comfortably take it out. The ground battles with the Cell Matrix robots and the aerial battles on the Cell Matrix itself will both be updated. When on the ground, open up the map to see areas with Cell Matrix robots marked out. When the countdown is up, robots will be deployed. When on the Cell Matrix, head to the control room where tons of Cell Matrix robots await. Lastly, don't forget that when fighting the robots, there are still other players. That just about wrap things up for today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner.